Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and it is time for the Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, March 10th. The Roundup is the show where we take a look back at everything we've done over the last week, we take a look ahead at what we're going to do next week, and I talk about a bunch of crap that pops into my head. Appearing on your screen right now is whatever game it is that I picked. I haven't recorded it yet, so hopefully it's not just a black screen. If it is actually a game, I'm probably putting the name up right now so you can see that. With that formality out of the way, let's move on to talk about the week that was. Technically speaking, the week's not over, because I do still have two videos I want to release. This was the IGF On Live Indie Showcase week, and at this point I still have a video for Torin that I want to release, and a video for Dear Esther. But let's talk about the videos that we actually put out. We started out with an introduction to On Live. I enjoy the service. I hope that I spread, spread the word to some of you who have never heard of the service. Yes, the service is not available in all places. Sorry, the Nitro Mountain. Uh, it is mostly in the U.S. and Europe. I know it's solid in the U.K. I think it's, for some reason, not allowed in Germany, I think I read, for some legal thing. But, uh, you know, check check local listings for availability, as they say in other sorts of commercials and whatnot. I like the service. Again, I want to reiterate, I have never bought anything. I've never purchased anything with the service, so I don't like it to that degree. I like it for little events like this, and I like it to be able to trial games. That's what I use it for, almost completely. I have considered purchasing games when they were on really, really great sales, but I still haven't pulled the trigger on anything. So while I am a huge fan of the service and a satisfied user, I am not a paying user of the service. So make up your mind about OnLive, try it if it's in your area. I would at least have an account active because they do interesting little events like the Indie Showcase every now and then. So let's move on to the videos that we have put out so far in the IGF OnLive week. First up is Once Upon a Space Time. And I have to kind of restrain myself because I could go into tirade mode about this game. But it's an interesting game concept, but it is so student. It is such a project created by academics to serve an academic purpose. I mean, when you say on your website that the game's not trying to be fun, I think you just fail. You're not even trying to... I just... It's people dancing in, in the space ocean. I... It's, am I just stupid? Is this really smart to someone and they really, really think it's cool and cutting edge and hip? No, because people who think this sort of stuff is smart and cutting edge and hip only think that because they're supposed to think that. So they think that they won't be hip if they don't say, oh yeah, that was deep. So yeah, once upon a space time, you saw the video. I have to say that the further away I got from playing this game, the worse my... <laughs> the worse my feelings got. As I reflected back on it, I got angrier and angrier. And um, that'll come out a little bit in the Torin video that I'm going to release later today. So, uh, Once Upon a Space Time, it was about dancing in the space ocean. Mm-hmm. All right, moving on to English Country Tune, a very solid puzzle game. I liked it a whole hell of a lot. Really, really good game. I liked that it got hard the further you went into it. You know, it got difficult uh, quickly. It introduced you to some basic concepts, and then it said, okay, take that basic stuff that you know that we just taught you, and now defuse a bomb with it. You know, now build a skyscraper out of it. Really, really cool stuff. I mean, they gave you simple tools and then asked you to do complex things. And I'm a big fan of that. So, big thumbs up to English Country Tune. After that, it was Dust Force. Dust Force, of course, not really playable in the on-live environment. The latency made it difficult for me to actually do the precision movement that I really needed to do in order to really get a full impression of the game. I hope to play a local copy, uh, copy uh, in a zero latency environment, that being on my local machine, uh, in the near future, but uh, for now, the Dust Force video is what it is. After that, it was Pop, Rob Latch's strange game about colors and flashing lights and found footage and simple mini games. <laughs> it was brilliant. And uh, it, this is experimentation at its best. This is someone who is a game maker making a game where he's saying, let's just see what we can do with the game's medium. And always remembering that this is a game and the purpose of this game is to entertain people through an interactive experience. He really hit a home run on it. And uh, I mentioned Rob in my tweet about the game. He saw it, and he seemed to really, uh, really like it. 
and he retweeted it. So it was pretty cool. I think he, he got a kick out of my review, and that was really, really nice. So a uh, pop experience it. You really have to. Apparently, according to Rob, it is going to be releasing uh, for a downloadable version, quote, soon. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll keep you guys posted if I see the downloadable version of Pop go up for those who couldn't experience it using On Live. After that, it was the Space Sim Roguelike Faster Than Light FTL. Really, really interesting game. Great concept. I love the management concept of the game. The combat was nice. It really reminded me of old school uh, space sim games. Really enjoyed it. Liked it a whole hell of a lot. I mentioned their Kickstarter. I also mentioned that their Kickstarter like blew the hell up. So uh, they're they're pretty well suited. Uh, they're pre pretty well uh, set for funds. So uh, their Kickstarter is like 400% by now, I think, and uh, and and climbing. So. Really, really cool that these guys are getting the support that I think this game deserves, and I'll be looking forward to a full release of this game. It was, again, an honorable mention in the Seamus McNally uh, Grand Prize category, so this was a heavy hitter. I mean, it was in there with games like Fez and uh, Frozen Synapse and Spelunky that you know were considered to be some of the best games of 2011 and beyond, because some of them, like Fez, aren't even released yet. So... Really, really cool. Glad to see that uh, they got the props that they deserve, and uh, I think the playable alpha that they had on OnLive was, was really playable. It didn't really seem to have a whole lot of uh, glitches and bugs. I found one thing where it kind of locked up, but other than that, it played really solid, so I was really happy to see that. So that was faster than light. Of course, as I said, we have Torin, which is a puzzle adventure game. I don't. When I say puzzle, I don't want you to think like Tetris blocks. I want you to think like adventure, not a point-and-click, but puzzles in that sense, you know, problem solving in a video game environment. So problem solving adventure game, let's call it that. Uh, vision hard rain, think hard rain. That's kind of what you're what you're doing here. A cinematic adventure puzzle experience. Yeah. Really liked, really liked Torin. Big giant thumbs up on Torin, and you will hear my enthusiasm for the game when the video comes out, hopefully later today. And, of course, we will be releasing the Dear Esther video. That video is still in production. I've only played a couple of minutes of Dear Esther at this point of recording, so uh, I really don't have my thoughts on the game fully fleshed out or formed. So I'm going to go back through and do the whole 30-minute trial of Dear Esther, and then I'm going to post a, uh, a video on it Monday-ish, uh, maybe. Fingers crossed. We'll see about that. So, uh, yeah, next week was supposed to be Rock Hippo Week. Rock Hippo is the company that is behind Brawl Busters, the recent free-to-play added to Steam, and Microvolts, which is a third-person run-and-gun action shooter, which has been out for about a year or two now. I'm, I say supposed to be because all of this on-live stuff kind of pushed me through my recording time, so I haven't gotten to record my stuff for next week yet. It might happen. It might not. We'll see. I'll, I'll try to do something for next week. But uh, it was supposed to be Rock Hippo Week. If I can find the time, it will still be Rock Hippo Week. If not, look for me to release something on Wednesday or Thursday just to sort of fill the gap and keep videos flowing. Hmm. Other than that, I think that's really all we have to talk about. Um... Nothing coming to mind, really. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'm sure there's some sales or something cool going on this weekend, but I just ain't got time to track that sort of stuff. I'm all over the place this weekend with the IGF on live stuff. Uh, the uh, IGF winners were announced. Fez won the top prize. Dear Esther won uh, Excellence in Visual Design. Uh, Frozen Synapse won the Audience Award. Check IGF.com for all that info. Uh, you know, there's also some interesting stuff going on. I think the IGF is maybe getting a little too big for its britches kind of thing because it's sort of starting to become the target of controversy. So, uh, yeah. There's a really good article on Rock, Paper, Shotgun, which I link linked on my Twitter. Uh, check that out. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it. All right, guys, uh, I'm trying to be on Steam a little bit more. So if you see me, hit me up. If you want to play a game, hit me up. I really can't guarantee how frequently I'll be available or if I'll actually be able to play with you when you do message me. But just say hi, and we'll see what happens from there. How about that? All right, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy. <laughs>